Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video inspired by Mandy Lee, or Lay, I'm not sure how to say her name, but you guys, it's so funny because sometimes I find creators when I watch other people's favorites videos and I subscribe to their channel, and then when I check them out, it's just like so fun to see, you know, different people and, you know, their content. And it of course inspires me, so full credit to her on this idea and I will go ahead and link her video down in the description box. So this is basically like a favorites video but I thought it was kind of fun because when I saw the title how I interpreted it was as palettes that I love but I don't get enough time to use over and over and I just really like that at this time since a lot of people are trying to buy less things especially. Um, I thought it was a fun idea to just talk about some old palettes, why I love them, why we think they're fabulous. So her video was titled, Seven Amazing Palettes You May Already Own. And I think I did like 11 amazing palettes you may already own. And these are just palettes I love and I try to reach for ever so often. And yeah, every time I just am so impressed with them. So without further blabbering, let's get into this video. So let's see here. I have so many beautiful palettes. I don't want to pick a favorite. So I'm just going to try and be as super random as I could. This one is <laughs> this one is a little bit controversial. I think this one's going away, but I must say this is definitely my favorite Jeffree Star palette. I used to love his um, blood sugar palette, but I recently tried it and didn't love the formula as much. So I wasn't sure if mine had just aged badly and I ended up decluttering it. But I did use the Alien palette recently and it was still as stunning as I remember. Of course, you guys know I love green eyeshadows. You're going to see quite a bit of green eyeshadows in this video, I'm not going to lie. But that's kind of what I love, so it's what I gravitate towards as like fabulous, you know. So yeah, this palette is so beautiful and I hear it's going away. I don't know if you can still buy it, um, but I kind of wish I reached for this one more. So. Yeah, one of my faves. Another one, this is a fabulous palette. I used to love this brand. I used to love this brand, and it's funny because I think I have another palette from them in this video, and it is the Holy Grail palette by Violet Voss. I bet you guys didn't even know I had this palette. Some of you probably didn't know. I basically decluttered all my Violet Voss palettes, and I was gonna declutter this one as well, and it was on my Poshmark, but it wasn't selling, and so I ended up deciding to just put it back on my shelf, and it's been there ever since. It's very happy, and yeah, these, they're like, shimmers are so pigmented and gorgeous. I remember I used to have their Ride or Die palette and it had the most awesome like neutral shades. So this one I really do genuinely need to like whip out and use because it does not get enough use from me actually. I don't think I've used that palette in years to be honest. Okay the next one is also a little bit of an oldie, definitely a goodie. I had to mention my Paulina Blush Tribe palette. Oh my gosh this thing is such a gem. Every time I see it in other people's videos I'm like oh, I need to reach for that thing. It's gorgeous. I love a good true green shade and of course a light green. This is stunning and yeah you guys I'm sure a lot of you have this because I'm sure some of you found me through Paulina and a lot of us have the same taste in like indie palettes like this so I'm sure many of you have it and you'll have to let me know if you ended up reaching for it and using it again because it's such a beautiful palette. So another green palette, who's surprised, that is so fabulous that I haven't used in a while, is the Oceanic palette by Ace Beauté. Now Ace Beauté is a hit or miss brand for me. Some of their products I really like, like this palette, but I didn't like their Paradise collection, so I did declutter those ones. But this is a beautiful palette, and I maybe used it like once or twice, so definitely one that deserves more love. From me, this shade, Mykonos, do you guys see that? Like, why don't I use this shade? That's a stunning color. Let's swatch one more. Let's swatch Bora Bora. It's beautiful. This kind of definitely reminds me of that new e.l.f. palette that I picked up from the drugstore that I'm like obsessed with. So I definitely need to do some comparing to that palette and see if uh, that is a good dupe to this palette in case you guys 
don't want to fucks with the Ace Beauté formula, which I can understand because sometimes it can definitely be messy. The next palette, oh my gosh, I love this palette. This is my favorite Juvia's Place palette. This is the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place. My favorite shade is Coro. It's a beautiful green shimmery deliciousness. It's like a golden yellow duochrome heavenly lime shade. I don't know. I like this palette. Like I said, you guys, I love green. So I definitely want to pull this out and do a look with it because I feel like I haven't used it in forever. And it's so stunning. Let's just take a second to admire the beauty of this palette because I think it's gorgeous and it's definitely fabulous. The next palette, this is like the unicorn palette of YouTube. This is the Deep Sea Luster palette from the brand Kaleidos. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but last year I started a series on my channel called Try and Buy because I have so many palettes in my collection that are brand new and I've never used them. And this was one of them. This one has been used since I filmed the intro to that video and it's a stunning palette. I never, ever, ever, ever want to get rid of this palette. Um, these shimmers are so buttery, soft, and stunning. Look at these duochromes. Um, they're gorgeous. So I really, really love this palette, and I definitely want to do more looks with it. Let me know if you guys have it. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. If they ever bring this back, I'm telling you guys, if they bring this palette back, you guys better get it. <laughs> You buy, you guys better get it because you will regret not having it in the future if they bring this back. So very, very nice. And here is my second Violet Voss palette. This one, I think Amy from Amy Loves Makeup is the one that made me take a second look at this. This came out, I believe, was it 2019? Early 2019. And I used it like for a review and then it kind of just, you know, faded away and Amy had mentioned to me that this row actually makes the most beautiful like inner corner shades and I was like, Amy, you are a genius, you little minx. And so <laughs> I whipped this back out and started using it as inner corner highlights and she was right there, beautiful iridescent inner corner shades. So I love this palette for that. I kind of want to you know, spend more time playing with this palette, but of course I haven't um, because, you know, sometimes I get caught up in the new, new, new and forget about palettes that I've had for a while, but these are all really dear palettes to me and I can't see myself getting rid of any of them at this moment in time. So the next one I want to talk about is probably one that used to be one of my favorite ColourPop palettes. This is the Good Sport palette. I think this came out fall twenty. 18 I believe and this was their their fall palette these two shades This green shade actually was my favorite shade in the palette and Yeah, it was just so buttery and shiny and creamy. I Love those two shades. I love the mattes that they put in here such a great curated palette from Colourpop I think so Jaded has now passed this one as my favorite ColourPop palette, but this palette is still very fabulous and I love the size and this cute packaging, so I wanted to mention it in this video. Okay, we're down to the last three. So this one I haven't used in a while, but I love and I thought it would be so fun for me to give this brand a shout out. So this is Lethal Cosmetics. They are a German-based indie brand and I know so many of my friends love this brand. Amy, Angie, Sid, Teresa is dead, spooky lips and fat hips. Georgia Harris thinks this is a little overrated, but you know, we're still friends with her. We forgive her for saying that. I'm just kidding. She mentioned that in a live stream once with Teresa is dead and I think Teresa just try to be cool, but you could tell she was like torn inside because she loves Lethal Cosmetics shadows. I predict that they may collab with her, I think, because that's how much she raves about these shadows. And they're they're gorgeous. This is their first um, curated collection that I ever saw. I saw Angie talk about this palette in one of her Will I Buy It videos, and I, of course, went straight to the website and purchased it because this green shade was just like calling to me. So really love those shadows. They are fabulous. And then my next palette, I actually recently filmed a video with this. It might be up or it might not be up, but I know Colored Brand is bringing this palette back. 
And listen, when I filmed that video, I was like, these bitches need to go buy this palette because it is that bomb. These shimmer shades are my favorite. You guys asked me about like what my favorite formulas are. Colored Rain is easily one of my favorite formulas of all time because their foil shades just glide onto my lids and the owner is a woman of color so I feel like her shades are very pigmented and if you are of a deeper skin tone I really think you'll enjoy her shadows plus this packaging is so cute their queen of hearts palette was like the reigning neutral palette of YouTube for so so long I used to hear so many different creators talk about it and I just don't think you should sleep on this palette. It is stunning. Watch that video if it's already up because I think it'll definitely convince you guys to take a second look at that palette. So the last palette I want to talk about is one of my favorites. This is the most fabulous palette from Natasha Denona. It used to be my favorite. The Metropolis did dethrone this one, but it's still so good. This is the gold palette from Natasha Denona. My favorite shade is Lime Chrome. It's this beautiful, green, heavenly gorgeousness. <laughs> Do you guys see that? It's beautiful. So I really, really, really love that color. And this is a palette I definitely, definitely want to play with some more. I think it very recently went on sale for Black Friday 2019, possibly. I don't know. But listen, if you guys like this color story... I would pick this up. It's that good. There is a dupe palette that's a pretty good dupe. Alter Ego makes a palette called the Goddess Palette that's like under $20, whereas this one is like a hundred and something dollars. Um, but I like the original. I like the Goddess one. Of course, I would tell you if you have the extra bucks to go with the Natasha Denona, but you know, you all gotta make those choices for yourself. I can't tell you what to do, but those are some of my palettes that have been in my collection for some time that I think are super duper fabulous. And if you guys have them in your collection, let me know in the comments as well. What I would really, really like for you guys to do is if you made it to the end of this video, let me know in a comment which palette you would like to see me create an eye look from. I would love to take some requests. I don't know if I could do a look with every single palette in this video, but if you guys could just vote um, and let me know which palette is your ultimate favorite from the ones I just showed you guys. I would love to create a look with the palettes that you guys vote for in upcoming videos so that uh, you guys can kind of pick some of my content, which I think could be fun. So let's experiment and see if any of you guys vote. I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts and requests down in my comment section. I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye!